in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And good pressure defensively to stop him for a loss of a couple. Now there's also a flag to go with it. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now a handoff looking right. It's a gain of three, and it'll be second down. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. Brings up three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And to give this time to the tailback. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. That's to his running back complete. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. Complete to the right side, it's Eifert. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think it's okay there they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. On the slant, this is Chark. Kaepernick's pass. Complete. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. First down, Jacksonville. Again, they'll throw with Kaepernick. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. It leads to second and ten. Kaepernick again here on second and ten. And that one caught by a Zigbo is running back. Kaepernick's pass. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And it's third down. Kaepernick again. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there as they were able to connect. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Kaepernick's pass. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gain of 11 on the play. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six. Again, it's Kaepernick. 29 yard line. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 18. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. Going with Armstead, a first down carry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them.
Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. A run here with Armstead. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Brings up second and goal at the two. Running it with Armstead. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Jags are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. That's a whole lot of points still to be down. But congratulations, they're still fighting, and they scored another touchdown. Like my old high school coach used to say, Charles, he said, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you wish you never had showed up. <laughs> Could have saved the gas money, the hotel, <laughs> what have you, huh? Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Josh Lambeau. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 20 New England trying to get a place on offense. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that, you know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. Pick up a three. Brings up second and seven. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Great, and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission, I think. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. Number 37, Damian The Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. On the tackle. A gain of two on the play. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. The pass. 
Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Jaguars again ready to take over on offense. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Three yards the gain there, second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Kaepernick to throw on second down. That'll be caught right side Chenault with it. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, Jacksonville. Now Kaepernick. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. First down, Jacksonville. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A gain of six there on first. Second and four at the 50-yard line. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And this one into the hands of D.J. Shark. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big one there for the Jack. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And that's caught by Zigbo. Call it a one-yard gain on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call. But for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. Second and goal from inside the five. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Third down and goal. Kaepernick to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. They're going for it. It's Kaepernick. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. The fourth down pass. Intercepted. The Patriots take over first and ten at their own 20-yard line.
The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Today, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. As an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for New England, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
Yeah, I I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, I'm a turn the knob, can't resist, I'm incredible. Yeah, came for the dollars, call it vegetable. Uh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me broke? Ooh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me broke? Uh, your whole team is no competition. Boy, I did it by myself, it's a solo mission. I'm the GOAT, little man, and I made it loud and clear. Put the gas on them like I'm with the Cavalier. Um, show no love, got the confidence, no fear. I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay.